The Case of Janine Jones Janine Jones, born on July 13, 1950, is a former pediatric nurse whose name became synonymous with one of the most notorious cases of medical serial killings in the United States. She worked at various hospitals in Texas during the 1980s and was suspected of causing the deaths of numerous infants and children under her care. Jones began her nursing career in the late 1970s and quickly gained a reputation as a skilled and compassionate nurse. However, it was later discovered that she was secretly administering lethal doses of medications or substances to induce medical emergencies in the patients she cared for. The first known murder attributed to Jones occurred in 1981 when an 11-month-old boy named Joshua Sawyer died under suspicious circumstances. The investigations into his death were initially inconclusive, but suspicions grew as a high number of unexplained deaths and medical emergencies occurred in hospitals where Jones worked. These incidents raised concerns among medical staff but the true extent of Jones' crimes would only come to light later. In 1984, Jones was finally caught and convicted for the murder of 15-month-old Chelsea McClellan. She had injected Chelsea with a lethal dose of a muscle relaxant, resulting in her death. Jones was sentenced to 99 years in prison for this crime, providing some measure of justice for the victims and their families. However, the story did not end there. In 1985, a law was passed in Texas known as the 85% Rule, which allowed prisoners to earn time off their sentences for good behavior and prison overcrowding. As a result, Jones became eligible for early release after serving only a fraction of her sentence, creating outrage and fear among the families affected by her actions. This led to renewed investigations into Jones' case, and in 2017, she was indicted on a separate murder charge for the death of Joshua Sawyer, the 11-month-old boy who died in 1981. Authorities also began looking into her potential involvement in other deaths and medical emergencies during her time as a nurse. As of my knowledge cut off in September 2021, Jones had not yet faced trial for the additional murder charges. The investigations were ongoing, and authorities were working diligently to gather evidence against her. It's worth noting that the passage of time and challenges associated with collecting evidence from decades-old cases could have posed significant obstacles to the prosecution. The case of Janine Jones serves as a haunting reminder of the potential for evil within individuals who are entrusted with the care and well-being of others. Her actions not only resulted in the tragic loss of innocent lives, but also shattered the trust placed in healthcare professionals. The case has sparked discussions about patient safety, hospital protocols, and the need for stricter regulations in the healthcare industry to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. We hope you enjoyed this case overview, presented by the Emmy Award winning Crime Sonics. Be sure to give us a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content just like this.